Go left, three of them go right, so a nice balance there. Three in the north, three in the south, the true New Zealand Superbike Road Race Championship under starters orders at the moment with the mighty Mitch to have set that pole position on the number uh, 92 uh, bike there so uh, he's uh, put the uh, black demon into the front as we look to the lights and the lights go out and away he got he gets a power run indeed looking pretty good there on the time but tell you what big dad on the outside right around from fourth place how's that to go straight in the front uh, brad Ritchie, what a start oh we talked about it all qualifying session long p4 is where you want to be it's on the race line you got the rubber on the road and tony rees has got a great start he leads out of turn three and down the back straight al hoogie a great start from Al. He's there ready to go. Mitch Rees and West. What a top four we've got here. We've got James Hoogaboo, Marin Scott, and then go back to uh, Heath Bodica. Uh, the best of the rest, uh, fifth, uh, they'll be fifth, sixth, and seventh place. No start for Scotty Moyer, so not sure what's happened to the Diamond Design Pro Moto Yamaha team, but uh, no start from Scotty Moyer. So uh, early drama in our New Zealand Superbike Championships as they scream into the McKissick Curve, one of the greatest left handers in New Zealand motorsport racing. It is absolutely brilliant. We're going to watch them come out of here into uh, the awesome heap and the real true right hander. No change. Still Tony, Al, then Mitch, then Ant. This is a dynamic top four as they head into the uh, pit lane kink. And on the way to the bus stop, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. Just a short eight lapper, so it's on. And Al Hoogie up the inside into the bus stop. That is a, an amazing move from Al Hoogie. And he now leads. Take him off. One down, seven to go. Al Hoogie, Tony and Mitch, uh, two, three, Team Rees Honda. And then Ann West uh, ready and waiting there. Under lap record pace in qualifying, Neil. So the pace is uh, absolutely electric here this weekend. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Lee Munro said it on Facebook this week, and he called it the uh, move of the weekend after the move we saw from Al Hoogie last week. I'll tell you what, there was another one to go for it as well. And uh, a judge's score out there for the move of the weekend. And Al Hoogie starting to really get together. Man, a man, I'll tell you what, a switch got flicked for that guy at Ruapuna, didn't it? Because he was nowhere near uh, the excellence that we know he's capable of lot through rounds number one and two but bring it back on his home Rua Puna last weekend super exciting super dynamic I'll tell you what when you got Ant West back there in uh, fourth place he'll have some work to do and worry I'm sure we're going to be talking of a better result at the end of this one but those other boys making uh, the work to do and often people talk about being on pole here and not being the best position because you're on the inside for a right uh, hander uh, that just comes up whereas uh, for uh, Tony on the outside there in fourth place he was ready to pounce and man he went straight for it right from where you go but uh, here you are looking out that for uh, Al I'll tell you what let alone the fact that we've got the awesome force him up there. He's starting to set the tone and get away from him. I tell you what, that's uh, good work. He's made a break on him, Brett. Absolutely brilliant. Mitch Rees up the inside of Dad. Tony, he'll make that move, Stick. So now uh, uh, Mitch Rees in second place. Tony's still there. And West had a big, uh, desperate move into McKissick. Couldn't make it happen. Now he's gone a bit deep into two and three. So hasn't made that one stick. But can he get the good drive on the back straight? Breathtaking racing it again from our New Zealand Superbike paddock. But uh, Al Hoogie, he's got 25 bike lengths, Neil. Can he uh, get his campaign well back on track? Wouldn't this be something special for the South Island fans here? We've got six laps to go. Hey, well, we've been talking about it actually, and a lot of people saying how different the championship is this year. And I think it's uh, partly because of the difference in the fact that we always used to start off in the South Island. So South Island riders generally got themselves on the front foot, and that seemed to make a big difference. The North Island riders had to play catch up in our sport. Now that we start in the North, the other ones that seem to have got themselves on the front foot and now we're playing uh, catch up for the uh, mainlanders and our exact example of what we've been talking about so just goes to show there may be a difference in just how our series is formatted and how we kick it off but more importantly this is the uh, awesome round number uh, four we got courtesy of uh, red pass great to have them on board of course makers of uh, glass houses green houses and uh, all around farm shelters uh, red path quality name for agriculture quality name for nzsbk and way to a flying good start but not the big gap already brad it's starting to be closed down yeah. uh, mitch is coming yeah fast lap of the race mitch Reza, one 27. He's only two tenths of a second off lap record pace. He had 25 bike lengths last time around. Now it's been diminished. So Mitchell Rees is coming for his good uh, race mate Al Hoogie. This is going to be electric. And West has got past Tony Rees. So that's the update now for third place And West. And he's uh, got right on the back of this uh, train. So genuine three way fight for the overall uh, race here. We've got five laps to go. Tony Rees after that lightning start. He's still there in fourth place. Uh, James Hoogamboozum uh, there in fifth with Aaron Scott and Heath Bodica still sixth and seventh. So unchanged uh, to that group out there. But uh, Al Hoogie now in a big bit of trouble because he's getting pressure piled on. Mitchell Rees is right on the back wheel and Ant West is coming for the ride as well. You can see three of them out of the hip and absolutely breathtaking this as uh, Al, Mitch and Ant, they had uh, some absolutely paint swapping brilliance last weekend for the New Zealand Grand Prix and this one shaping up exactly the same as a win through a bus stop. Al Hoogie still leads but there's now only four to go halfway through 
race one of the weekend, and uh, Neil, you've got to throw a tea towel over them now as they head into the oh, man, 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 second half of this one. Super close. I tell you what, the one to look out for is definitely Ant West. He's the one on the move. Look at that. He comes right up, almost nudges the back wheel there of Matrice as he powers his way out the corner. Remembering for all these circuits, a man who'd never even been to New Zealand before and, uh, until uh, last month, and he's now uh, making it really happen there at the moment and uh, going for it at the moment. And Ant West got the best time on that yep. one as well. New lap record. So two tenths oh. under it. So a 1023 Ant West, your brand new lap record holder in the New Zealand Superbike class here at level so you can just tell the pace is absolutely breathtaking and uh, Al uh, still hanging on to that lead Mitch and Ant can we see something special Ant uh, the fastest on track but it is very very hard to pass around levels you've got to be very sure of your move and uh, absolutely nothing get it into the hip and you're almost uh, touching each other's wheels as they come out of there far into the uh, left hand little kink onto the pit lane straight into the bus stop breathtaking Al Hoogie, Mitchell Rees and Ant West have delighted us all summer long and this is uh, no exception here, we tick off yet another lap, there's now only three laps to go might and Mitch Rees on the inside into turn one, I think he might have yes, that done, is. Mitchell Rees, what a move, he stalked him through the bus stop and now he inherits the lead with three laps to go, Ant West desperate to try and get into the action as uh, they fire. Out of turn three and down the back straight. Neil, this is breathtaking. Brilliant stuff from our New Zealand Superbike paddock. Well, I'll tell you what, this is our first race. This is a format like we had a couple of years ago, actually, where the Superbikes come up first to entertain, and man, do they exhilarate uh, when we get so, such a good uh, kick start as we head down towards John Jones Steel. So what a great way to uh, kick off our championship uh, here for the course this halfway point in our uh, racing, courtesy of uh, uh, PDS Logistics at pdsl.co.nz. Proud to be our logistics and safety fence movers around the country for this fantastic championship as we come back. He have not been here for a yeah, few years. Change for uh, second place too. Oh, change for second go. place. Ant's got the job done. So now Al, he's on the outside looking in. So it's Mitchell Rees, Ant West and Al Hoogie. Oh man, we're going to have two laps to go as they get to, uh, through the bus stop and out the other side. Uh, Mitch Rees, can he respond? We've got a brand new lap record, but Ant West is in second place. Can we see some speciality here? Two laps now to go. As we see, uh, Mitch Rees goes into the low 102s on that lap around, but it's still uh, the lap record still uh, for Ant West. So unbelievable pace. As uh, Can we see something special? Two laps to go now, and uh, Mitch Rees hanging on out there. Ant West is right on the back wheel. Neil, this is going to come down to the absolute crunch in our first race. What a way to start the weekend here at Levels. All right, so uh, the Timaru Motors uh, build up when you come out of that uh, short inside corner and come up that back straight. It's uh, absolutely colossal. For those of it looking at sort of, it's a bit like a letter B turned upside down in some ways. It's a little different conduit, but you get the idea that the back straight is that to full length the entire circuit and then all the other busy parts of the track come on the other leg, coming all the way down to the bottom again as we turn it all around. So uh, uh, great to see as we're uh, running here at the moment, of course, and uh, taking this one in the uh, uh, anti-clockwise direction as well, similar to what we were were of course at Ruapuna last weekend but it's a tight one as we come down through uh, our great coverage uh, courtesy of ctas.co.nz down to the corner it'll be a white flag waiting this time into it there at the moment it's the Honda that's got at the moment over the Yamaha it is New Zealand versus Australia it is uh, Mitch Rees up against uh, and he's got his leg outside there looking for the balance looking for the poise looking for the direction in the corner no he won't do it on that corner he may not do it on the next one I tell you what it's his exit his exit as he comes on to this Timaru Motor straight which we all them in this red path sponsored uh, feature uh, superbike race we're on here at the moment because he's tracking, he's tracking, he's right on the tail. Look at the slipstream. Maybe he's going to go for the big power run. Will he try and get the advantage? Looking up on the inside towards John Jones Steel. Is he going to make a stick going into the corner? Can he do it? Yes, he goes. Ed West is gone. He is out of there. He's gone for the uh, lead. What an incredible pace to be set. We certainly saw that at the uh, earlier rounds where it appeared as if the Honda might have had the longer legs on the straight. But I'll tell you what, I think he's got it and he can bring it home from here, Brad. Look oh, out. yeah, great drive onto that back straight. What a good move from an experienced uh, Grand Prix race. And Ant West now leads. Mitch Reed's going to try something desperate here if he wants to try and win this one. This is going to start a little streak of Ant West can hang on. Mitch looking up. It's only really the bus stop left. Can Mitchell find something? Ant West got a good drive out of there. Mitch is going to have a look, but I don't think he's close enough. This is going to be first blood to Ant West. He's going to hang on to this one here and win a breathtaking race one of the weekend. Mitch Reed's had it uh, with one lap to go, but uh, what a move from Ant West. Uh, so it'll be Ant West, Mitch Reed's, then Al Hoogie. A spectacular podium there. Tony Rees will come home in fourth place to uh, cap off his uh, consistent pace out here. Good work from Tony. Hasn't been uh, here to levels for the race uh, since about 2016. So uh, a good show and some good pace from Tony Rees. He'll come home in fourth place. James Hoogie's going to come home. Good show from James. That's a top five result there on the uh, Metzger Builders machine. And he'll be loving that. So uh, top five there. Aaron Scott and uh, Heath Bodica. Well, they will come home to round out our field in 6th and 7th place. So, man, oh man, Ant West continues that late race brilliance. And he's going to steal another New Zealand Superbike victory here. He's rolling on with a nice little streak now, including the uh, race 2 and 3 last weekend. 
and now uh, keeping it on, keeping it on. So the Addicted to Track team will be absolutely loving it. And Mitch Rees will be thinking, what do I have to do to stop the juggernaut now? Ant West wins an absolute thriller here to uh, kick off the weekend. What a way after the lunch break to come out. Absolute bang. And uh, we're going to cross down to Neil, who will have our podium uh, wrap up there. And it's going to be yet another win for the Dynamic Australian Ant West on the Addicted to Track race team. He gets the win ahead of uh, Mitch Rees and Al Hoogie. Al has some great pace early on in the race and a good start, but uh, he'll come home and banks more uh, quality championship points in third place. Uh, so let's uh, cross down to Neil. Just a little bit of a yeah, to pick up on the yeah, next just looking for our audio. We uh, sort of lost it, haven't we? Well, we were working there before. I was working there yesterday. We were working there. We were working there, folks. Number four, number three. Sound check, sound check. Want to do that one again? Want to do that one again? Sound check, sound check. Want to see that we're all right, are we? Are we working all right out there? Oh, we come, we come around on this side. It's not so bad. And uh, he's uh, just trying to pick it up again. Trying to uh, go again and uh, go again, go again. Are we still uh, working there? Yes, we're still working. Uh, King just to uh, go. We did uh, try to have it working again here uh, yesterday. But uh, maybe just the yeah, shot and uh, just see if we can pick up on doing that again now. So I think we've uh, got it at the moment. Okay, I think we're, uh, we're going to go this time. So, uh, hey, we have got, uh, we have got a bit of audio uh, back this time. It's just not as loud out the back as it is out the front. So we can uh, still do a little bit of a... Uh, Yeah, good. I'm getting you back. <laughs> so we'll see what tomorrow. Oh no, Al Hoogie to here we are. Mighty move. Good work. Time. What are you going to change for the next one? Up a little bit. <laughs> no. Lead and that was my mistake. So. Me. Way through, so. That's good. Enjoyed it. All right, uh, hopefully getting our audience through here. And. We'll track, mate, you've done different tracks in New Zealand. How would you rate this little fella? Uh, it's not. It's, it, it, one little bit like upscale a bit bigger but it's it's a fun track it's almost impossible to pass clean race and a fast race i think we're we beat lap record so yeah, well yeah. i'm happy to get that win and tomorrow's going to be hard there's a need to oh awesome yeah went up to uh, Tika uh, Lake, yeah, Tika Po, yeah, amazing place. Just the lake and the mountains and everything that you guys have here in New Zealand is quite special. So, yeah, it's a nice place to be. Well, please, you we go, folks. That's a wrap. There it is. Super Bowl.
All right, uh, fantastic stuff here as we move on to the next one on the list, and it is our Pro Twins F3 and our Super Twins three classes out and one ready to delight with their uh, magical eight lap race on the cards here. So a uh, bit of excitement here as our uh, electric New Zealand Superbike paddock. <laughs> Man, that was good. And now we move on to uh, this one here. has been pretty good as well. This uh, class here separated into three different races. So we've got uh, Benno Ren Rosendale on pole and uh, loving it.